Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, so yeah, my name is Benjamin Bryant. Um, I had special projects at Pebble, which uh, means a whole bunch of things, but in this context, uh, we had a uh, Kickstarter campaign back in February, which is something that I managed and uh, I'm familiar with kind of both of our campaigns. So um, yeah, I guess here, what I want to talk to you today about here is a little more of the kind of the nitty gritty of you know, managing Kickstarter campaigns. I mean, we were one of the first companies to have a, uh, I want to say a mega success on there, and that was back in 2012. And then we kind of went through and did a rather large campaign um, this, uh, this February. So kind of want to get in here a little bit about what we see as the value and things that we've kind of learned from here. So um, Simon had wanted me to come here and he said, like in our discussion, he said, well, what can you present here? And he said, he wanted me to tell you the predictors of what was going to be a successful campaign. Um, unfortunately, I wish I knew I could do that, but sadly I can't. So um, instead here, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit of story and so forth um, around here. Because back when we had our first campaign, a lot of what you looked at were standard practices with uh, crowdfunding really didn't exist. We had no paradigms, no kind of uh, things to follow. Um, Kickstarter made you host your own images for you, this idea of a stretch goal or so forth, which is kind of, I'd call it the modern marketing technique for a uh, campaign, um, wasn't there. And uh, tools like Backerkit and stuff that manage the relationships were all there. I mean, we were really kind of the forefront founders on this here. And uh, so around here, what I kind of want to do is set here a little bit here. So just a brief little background. We're Pebble and we make a uh, smartwatch. Um, we are kind of the market standard for a smartwatch. And the whole reason we exist is because of a uh, crowdfunding campaign. And these are the two of our reasons here. And so what I want to say is here's the Pebble team that we have today. Um, we're around about 150 people. We're based out of uh, um, Palo Alto, California around here, but what I wanted to talk about here was this is the Pebble team of 2012, right here. And somehow we've gone from this period where we have these two individuals, this was our very first product we made here, the whole kind of idea and genus behind here was we wanted to build something that fit on your wrist and gave you your text notifications. Um, and this became the Pebble smartwatch, which was this the prototype of the first um, campaign. And what I kind of want to answer here is how did we go from these five individuals, these small people that, uh, you know, really only had a dream and a vision to be a company that now has one million units out in the world. Um, we've more or less defined the smartwatch space and the, uh, our competitors are three of the largest companies are in fact Apple being you know the largest company in the world that we go here and the whole reason that here is really the crowd itself and so what I want to kind of say about the crowd is the crowd here does something very fundamental to starting the business it kind of flips the model on your head and gives you three kind of important things it gives you the funding to make your project successful um, it shows product demand and it kind of gives you a community. And so funding is not really the most important thing here. Um, funding is important in the sense that it allows you to produce your project here. But people make the misconception that this is what's important about crowdfunding. Now the second thing is actually important. It's product demand out there. And in any product or thing, you need to build something that people want. And so you know, one of the key things it does, if you message correctly, to your community, to your backers and stuff here, you're going to get a sounding board that's going to say, hey, I think this is a good idea, or no, maybe not, we'll you know, place it on here. But either way, the feedback's good. And however, like above all, this is the most important thing that you need to realize about all, I want to say, crowdfunding campaigns, is it creates a community. And the reason this is important is these community members really are the individuals that are going to support you through thick and thin. They're going to give you feedback, whether it's good or bad and so forth, and they're going to really provide the basis that you have kind of to launch off of here. So, you know, when I say community, this is a uh, picture from a developer meetup in San Francisco. There's I actually couldn't fit everyone on the slides here, but you know, from having started out with uh, 
a Kickstarter campaign, you have these bases of these individuals who care passionately about your product. And in fact, you go to most any major city around the country on a monthly basis, there are groups that get together and they talk about developing Pebble, the things they do there, and they're the people that build the use cases for us. Um, there's other good things. I mean, like, you get people that give you this wonderful feedback on a daily basis. This is some um, kid named Harold opening his Pebble for the first time, and it's give you that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling that you actually really connect and you kind of touch individuals out here. They kind of provide you joy and stuff. I and mean, we check our Twitter feeds are so fussed. So there's, you know, 20 of these things flowing through on a daily basis, and they support you. Um, they also kind of provide visions of stuff around here. Kind of if you, you think about it, you want to build a great thing, it needs to be bigger and more beyond than what you can kind of do with your limited resources around here. And this is actually kind of a concept piece that was put together with a, uh, another crowdfunding project uh, by a company called Spark.io, which is a uh, cellular connected kind of little microcontroller, and by wiring them too, they create kind of essentially a GSM um, connected smartphone, so, sorry, smartwatch. So in essence, you can kind of move off the grid. Um, and then this one here is actually really interesting because what they'll do is you will see things that you could have never possibly imagined come out of the device and projects you build because of this crowd. Um, this project, Night Scout, is a, uh, it's an integration between a glucose monitor and a smartwatch, and it allows essentially individuals who need to manage diabetes and so forth to, on their wrist, get a uh, continual monitoring of you know, what is their blood sugar levels and so forth so that they can monitor whether they're crashing or so forth. And effectively, this is a organic um, campaign that's uh, you know, really fundamentally changed the way people live their life around there. So this brings me to, I'm gonna got, I think, four points here that I'm gonna wrap up and then we can do a little Q&A and question on here is that uh, first and foremost, the thing you have to remember about crowdfunding campaign if you do here is love your community out there. These are the individuals that will take you to the next level above and beyond and every time you have problems, everything you go there, they will move you to the next there. Um, as you go through and make your campaign, make choices about what it is you do. All right? In a sense, you're putting a flag in the ground. You're saying, this is what we stand for. This is the product we want to make. And you can't be everything to everyone. When you're small and you're starting out here, you need to say, we're going to solve one thing. For Pebble, this was essentially solving the idea of we want to put notifications on your wrist. And it's a small thing, but we did it really well. And as a result, it resounded with about 70,000 people the first there and so forth. I mean, it still is the number one feature that people care about a product. Other thing I would say is focus. And this, really, in this case, I mean, I'm talking about your messaging and how you communicate. Because if you want people to care about what you have to say, they have to understand what it is you produce. And one of the things that we always thought is keep it to a three things. What does your product do? How do you do it? And tell that. It may be do a myriad of other things out there, but let people know what's most important and see if that resonates with them. And lastly, for those who are kind of on the fence and other things here, the one thing is regardless of what you do, get out of there, build it around there because the feedback you're going to get from doing the early things right here is going to carry you on into your next product and your next product. I mean, we had two products we did before we launched our first Kickstarter campaign. These were tiny, tiny projects. I think the first one was 30 individuals that purchased it and it was not a crowdfund campaign. It was just something out there do here, but that led to a new other thing and led to what we were going to initially build on our first campaign, which was a thousand units and so forth. But because we had that experience and that learnings from before, when we actually pushed out the Pebble product, we knew we had a good product and we knew that the messaging worked and we knew it was well. And that in turn really resounded with a population of people that obviously launched to there. So without ado there, I want to say, Thank you for here, and if we got kind of some questions and so forth, I'm happy to kind of answer. And I will run with the mic. Sounds good.